Welcome to day 18 of the 25 apps in 25 day series, the daily series where I show off a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, I've got yet another free and open source app, but this is one that transforms any media playback on devices running Android 16 or newer into a live activity. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products that I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, my app shelf, which is a library of handpicked app recommendations from yours truly. We literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth checking out. But with that being said, let's take a look at day 18's application. Okay, the app in question for today is called Live Media, and it's available to download via GitHub, link below, but with the app open, we'll quickly run through the setup process, and then we'll unpack what it actually does. So we'll start by tapping Allow, then we'll tap here, then we'll scroll down and find the Live Media app, open it, then toggle this on, then tap Allow. Then we'll come back twice, and that is literally all there is to it. Now we can open up a music player app. So let's open up this Pixel Play app that I featured all the way back on day four of this series. Link in the cards, but I'll just tap to play a track and check this out. Instantly, we get this little live activity pill up here showing our currently playing media. I can then tap that pill and we get a live notification, which we can use to control our media playback. And we can also tap that live notification to open the active media app. Now I will say the design is a little plain and I wish that the animation expanded to and from the pill like it does on Samsung phones, for example. And you also can't scrub through the track either. Plus I also don't love that every time I tap a control, it closes the live media notification. But again, for basic media playback functionality, it works pretty well. It also has a feature built in where it will hide itself on the lock screen so that it doesn't double up on the default media player. So that's great. There is also apparently an update coming, which is probably actually live by the time that you watch this video, that'll give you options for customizing the various elements on the live notification. So you can apparently enable or disable anything that you like, which is great. And fingers crossed, some of those other missing features like better animations or scrubbing functionality get added somewhere down the line too. But that's it, a real short one today, but a really cool app nonetheless. As always, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.